Fans, friends, and family are trying to process the loss of Kobe Bryant, his 13-year-old Gianna, and seven other people who were on board a private Sikorsky helicopter. When something went wrong over Calabasas, they were heading to a tournament at Kobe's Mamba Sports Academy. The CHP has closed the off-ramps of the 101 freeway at Las Virginis Road, a short distance from where the helicopter went down. That's where the FBI, the FAA, and NTSB will investigate what caused that crash. And not to be forgotten, killed in the crash as well, Orange Coast College baseball coach John Atabelli, his wife Carrie, and daughter Alyssa. Mamba's basketball coach Christina Bowser, Sarah Chester, and her daughter Peyton. And the pilot was unofficially identified as Era Zobayan. We have live team coverage this morning, beginning with CBS 2 Tina Patel. She's live at Staples Center, uh, where fans have been since the news broke early yesterday. Tina, you were actually one of the first journalists uh, to break this story on our air here, CBS 2. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, it was hard to find the words to report this yesterday. And I think a lot of the fans who were showing up out here outside the Staples Center are still finding it hard to find the words about what Kobe meant to them. Take a look at this video from last night from our chopper, and you'll see just how many people came to the Staples Center when they heard the news. Even though the Grammys were here and technically a lot of the roads in this area were closed, they all wanted to gather here where they had so many memories of watching Kobe throughout the years. We had a chance to talk with some of the fans about the impact that he had and why they wanted to come out here and pay their respects. Yeah, I looked up to Kobe. He was my inspiration. He was my idol. He's one of my idols. You know, I grew up as a kid watching him play basketball, came to Staples Center, seen him play, came to the parades, seen him show us, like, I did it for LA. Now, Kobe's 13-year-old daughter, Gianna, was one of the victims in that helicopter crash. And a lot of the tributes that we are seeing outside the Staples Center are also remembering her and her promising basketball career. Speaking of basketball careers, I mean, Kobe had one of the greatest. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights. Bryant for the win. He was born Kobe Bean Bryant. To the world, the 41-year-old was a global basketball phenomenon. The son of a pro basketball player, the Philly native finished high school and was quickly drafted by the NBA. Greatness lies ahead for this young man. At the time, Bryant was the youngest player in the league's history at just over 17 years old. I, I think a lot of people, even when I came out of high school, um, I think people were kind of uh, kind of giving me the cold shoulder to begin with. Because um, I think, unfortunately, some people wanted me to fail uh, because of the five the odds. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. The MVP spent his entire pro career with the LA Lakers, winning five NBA championships with the team. During his 20 seasons, Bryant became one of the league's top scoring players. In the fall of 2015, he announced his plan to retire from the NBA and played his final game in 2016. The following year, his jerseys, 8 and 24, were retired. Since then, he has made his mark on Hollywood, winning an Academy Award for his animated film, Dear Basketball. But his greatest accomplishment may have been off the hardwood. He was a husband and proud father of four children. And back out here live, you can see the marquees outside the Staples Center in L.A. Live all have that smiling face that we all thought we'd get to see for years to come. DeMarco, before I toss it back to you, I want to tell you a lot of the fans that have been coming out here this morning are from L.A. They grew up watching Kobe, but he had an impact throughout the world. One of the fans that I had a chance to talk to actually said he grew up in Hong Kong, learned about basketball, watching videos of Kobe, used to watch them and then try to emulate those moves. His impact really was felt all over the world. That fan saying he was so sad that he never got a chance to see Kobe in person. And I think we're all sad that we won't get a chance to see him again.